Hi there, today we're unboxing a seven inch touchscreen display. So this particular display is by a company called Geek Pry. Resolution it supports is 1024 by 600, up to 60 frames per second, and it says it's got a high brightness level. So let's have a look at the actual packaging it comes with. Very simple, nothing too fancy about it. Looks like it's just got a sticker on the top with details about the screen. Let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. It's two cables. One's a, quite nice, flat HDMI cable. Let's see if it's gold plated. Yep. Surprisingly, I think it is. So that's quite good. Got a USB, it's a micro USB. That's not flat, but quality seems fine. I do like the quality of this one, seems very good actually. Okay, and we've got some details about the actual screen itself and what you get in the packaging. Got some foam protecting the screen and the actual screen itself. See if there's anything else in there. Nothing else. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual screen. So obviously you've got some holes there for mounting it if you wanted to. You've got protective film on there. I won't take this off just yet. Some details saying it's plug and play as well. Camera is an option on there. You've got two USB, two micro USB and a HDMI. And you've got some details behind it here. So this is just a general USB and that's for power. And then HDMI there. So yeah, build quality feels quite solid, quite rigid. Let's carefully peel this off. Feels quite good. Okay, let's power it on and give it a try. Okay, so now we're gonna attempt to configure the screen to work on a Raspberry Pi. So we wanna to go to this website, details are in the description of the video and we'll show you how to get it configured. Okay, go for it. Okay, so we've plugged in our SD card with Raspbian into the computer and now open it in File Explorer and navigate over to config.txt, open it up and all the writing will be bunched up like this. What you need to do, you need to copy it into WordPad. And it spreads itself out. So, first thing we need to do is find HDMI group. So, uncomment that. Change that to 2 and then HDMI mode. Change, uncomment that and change it to 87. Then underneath HDMI mode, copy this. And then uncomment HDMI force underscore hot plug. And then select all of that, copy it, and paste it into here. Save it. And you're ready to go. Okay, so next we'll unplug our micro SD card and then we'll plug it back into our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so we've got our micro SD card placed into our Raspberry Pi. We've also plugged in a wireless keyboard and, and we've got a cable going directly into the screen. So this gives the functionality of the touch screen. And then obviously we've got power going to the screen and the HDMI. 
and Ethernet going into the Raspberry Pi. So let me power on the Raspberry Pi. And there you go, working straight away. Let me and zoom in, it's on. So obviously I can use my mouse. Clarity wise, it does seem pretty good. Let's try it maneuvering with my finger. Responsiveness seems good. Let me start up also. Another page. It does feel a bit clunky. Obviously, you want a good usage for it. Let me go to YouTube. And let's try, ah, okay, there you go. That's not bad. If I click there, just type in Geek Street. Go to the channel. Okay, this is where it'd be quite interesting to see it in action. So obviously I can scroll up and down the page like so. Works really well, very responsive. I click on videos. Excellent. And let me click a video. Just give it a moment. I guess a Raspberry Pi isn't the most optimum way of running these sort of things, but still works. There you go. I guess I could scroll down to the comments as well. Works really well. Okay, so I'm at my computer here. The screen's just in position. I've put in the HDMI, the power, and the actual touchscreen functionality, and it's plugged in. I've just got to plug in now the HDMI, which I'm doing in the background, and I'm gonna plug in touchscreen functionality as well. And there you go, plug and play, and it's worked straight away. I did previously connect it in, and I didn't have to install any drivers, it just automatically did this. Let's check out the actual usability of this. Works quite well, sensitivity-wise it's good. Show you scrolling it. Performance is very good. Let's click a, a video. There you go, let's pause it. Let me try going to say MS Paint on there, for example. So if I go there to applications and we just scroll up a little bit See if we can find it. Okay, Paint 3D. Not bad, there you go. It is working. A slight lag, if you notice, as I'm doing it, it does catch up. Pick a different color. Because if you go really fast, I guess you will notice a lag. But yeah, works really well. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing of this 7-inch touchscreen display. Comes with two cables, USB and HDMI. The screen itself is really nice. The picture quality is good. And the sensitivity is not too bad either. Configuration-wise, on your Raspberry Pi, as you've seen, just need to change the config.txt file. And on a Windows 10 PC, Nothing to do, it's just plug and play, just works straight out of the box. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this particular screen. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.